You know, if we had a new Star Wars movie every time they made an announcement of a new Star Wars movie, we'd have a thousand Star Wars movies. And today is no different. Well, technically yesterday, but as I film it, it's news to me. Apparently Disney has found the dude they want to lead a brand new trilogy in the Star Wars Skywalker saga. It's the guy that made all the crappy X-Men movies. According to sources, and this thing, keep in mind, is in flux. It's moving all over the place. At first, this was going to be Star Wars episode 10, 11, and 12. But now we're hearing it's its own thing. It's David Pumpkins. It's a brand new trilogy with new characters and locales. Who knows? One thing is certain. Simon Kinberg, the guy that wrote X-Men The Last Stand and X-Men The Dark Phoenix, both movies featuring a terrible version of the Dark Phoenix, is going to be helming his own Star Wars trilogy. Now, I don't believe he's directing it. I think he's just writing and producing. But Disney, in their infinite wisdom, decided to bring on a dude that's written some of the shittiest screenplays. Now, to Simon's credit, he also has some really good ones under his belt. He's very inconsistent. He also did X-Men Days of Future Past which is freaking awesome. On the other hand, he wrote the 355, which was terrible. And then he did X-Men Apocalypse shit. I mean, Apocalypse. No, I was right the first time. He wrote Fantastic Four. Fant Four Stick, that one, that, that chestnut. But he did also do Sherlock Holmes, which is solid. And Jumper, he did, he did Jumper, everybody's favorite. Jumper. On the other other hand, he also wrote Mr. and Mrs. Smith and Triple X, State of the Union. That's the one with Ice Cube. So what in the hell does that mean for the Daisy Ridley film? I'm asking you. I don't, I don't know. I think it's still happening. Apparently it's just one movie at this point. And then there's also the Mandalorian and Grogu film that's being released. And then there's the Mangold movie that's going to be about the old Jedi Knights. So there's lots of Star Wars stuff going on, and some of it could be promising, could be. If we were to look at Scott's track record in the last decade, it's, it's abysmal. There's not a good movie to be seen in the writing department. And he's the one that's going to be heading this trilogy, crafting it. This is not exciting to me. Now, I hate The Last Jedi. Tr truly hate that film. But I won't discredit Ryan Johnson as far as directing goes. It's actually a very pretty looking movie. And he has made some clever screenplays. I almost would rather Ryan Johnson had a trilogy of his own. I think he could have done some very interesting things with it. Over where we're at now. If it were up to me, neither of these people would be anywhere near Star Wars, though, and we would go with someone completely different. Now, we can certainly be optimistic. Uh, Simon, again, did do X-Men Days of Future Past. Fan, one of my favorite X-Men movies, one of my favorite superhero movies, full stop. And so if he's truly been given the keys to the kingdom to build something amazing in Star Wars, I do think he potentially could do it. We've seen proof. We've seen some evidence. He knows how to write sharp dialogue. Mr. and Mrs. Smith was full of it. He knows how to write great action scenes. It's, of course, going to require a steady hand from the director to bring this to life. I think that's just as important. But it does start with pen to pad. And we're going to find out very soon if this is actually going to have any stain appeal or if Disney's going to turn heel and go a different direction again. They certainly seem to be doing a lot of that lately. So there's a quick little update for you as far as Star Wars is concerned. I can't say I'm thrilled about the prospect. I'm also not like completely turned off. I just, I don't care at all. I need to be impressed. I need to be wowed again. Because uh, that's what Star Wars used to do. It used to wow me. Of course, I was a dumb little child at the time, but... Uh, even Force Awakens got there, it brought that magic back, and then it was instantly burned to the ground again with The Last Jedi, but uh, we've, already, we've already been down that road a million times. Now we heal, or something, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below, are you excited for this film, trilogy, or whatever it's going to be at this point? Are you excited for any of these? coming out. James Mangold has a really cool one to deal with, but he also did that last Indiana Jones film, and uh, if, if we're going to get more of that kind of Mangold and less the Logan kind, can't say I'm that interested. Mando and Grogu had really good first and second season, and then that third one shit the bed. So a movie? I maybe? 
possibly. Daisy Ridley seems like a super likable great actress who was unfortunately put in a really bad set of films. And I'm actually happy that she gets one more go to maybe do something interesting. Probably will be terrible, but I'm trying to be optimistic because I still think there is plenty of good stuff that can be created with this massive universe. But what we're getting so far is the power of one, the power of two, the power of many. Let's do less of that. Thanks for watching the video. Again, please think of subscribing, hitting the notification bell, liking the video, sharing, doing all that crap. It, it helps. It helps me with the algorithm, with YouTube gods and whatnot. If you like what I'm doing, you've been watching for some time and you're looking to support the channel, my one man band, become a patron at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. There's tons of exclusive perks over there starting at just $1. You already get access to 300 exclusive videos and counting every month. I would really appreciate the support. It is a bunch of work every week to get all these reviews and commentary out. And a little extra help from you goes a long way. All right, hopefully I see you next time.